Let's take a second to talk about the attached units in Boulder, Colorado. In January of 2021, attached units have seen, well, uh, a huge drop in inventory, but they are also maybe the one moment of opportunity that we're going to see in the marketplace uh, with the shift of buying behavior during COVID and people needing more space and there's just not a lot going on in a lot of the city centers. There's actually a substantial amount of opportunity in perspective, right? Not you know, overwhelmingly a different market, but definitely there is something to buy and attach. And it's becoming pretty apparent that the buying behavior to detached is now starting to spill over into attached and you're starting to see those, you know, those uh, active inventory rates start to fall. So as we kind of went into the end of 2020 and into the beginning of 2021, you're seeing people purchase these properties more. And as you can see in this green line right here, it is a cliff as far as inventory. And it's not people taking it off the market. What that is, is that it's finally being bought up. And, you know, average sales prices are not necessarily minus 20%. It's not like people have decided to run away from the attached dwelling, but the composition of sales has definitely shifted in a lot of these marketplaces. So as we talked about the city of Boulder detached being really high in luxury, and that's really all that's available. Well, a lot of the attached units that are not luxury have moved, and that's really creating this kind of uh, a big curve here and a lot of under contracts, right? Month over month, we're starting to finally see a rise in the average sales price because there was just only the bottom tier of properties selling. So under contracts are up 22% or 3%, I guess, since this time last year, which is a good sign. Uh, that definitely shows that the attached market is back and doing well. A lot of it is definitely due to detached homes not being available. So as you can see here, average sales prices really bounce around all over the place. And I think the biggest takeaway here is just that you never really know what you're getting in average sales price. There's not a ton of sales in this price range. So, you know, we would have to look at some other factors or take some averages to really get a good view on the attached market. It definitely has not depreciated in value $130,000 like this slide says. That is a huge composition of sales issue. Um, you know, if, if you're looking at a lot more four hundred or five hundred thousand dollar townhouses selling or condos selling, then you know there used to be a lot of luxury stuff to kind of outweigh that, and we really just haven't seen that in 2020 or January of 2021. Now, if we look over at the sold units, um, the sold units are down just a little bit. You know, they're down by what is it, six units total. Now, that's uh, not. I shouldn't say that's concerning. It's not concerning, but. There, there definitely is a trend in buying behavior more towards detached single family homes. So if you are looking and you're frustrated looking for homes, look at a townhouse, right? There might actually be something on the market. They're definitely more affordable. And if this isn't going to be your forever home, I don't necessarily know if that's a huge drawback. I know that there's definitely a lot of perks to living in a townhouse that you don't get in a detached single family home, but location is key. And if you can get back into the city centers before the rest of society does that, then that's going to be a big win for you. Um, if we want to look at month supply of inventory, this is down you know, 35% since this time last year. So we're definitely still feeling the pinch from COVID and from all of the change in buying behavior. And um, we're only at 1.4 months of inventory. So the month supply of inventory definitely is dramatically better than it was in the detached market. But that does say that, you know, there's still some, some added inventory here. So we got a month and a half of inventory where a balanced market is at four to six months, uh, detached market being about half of that 0.7. So um, that, that should definitely help you if you're looking for a home. There's definitely something to purchase in the attached market, which is great. Um, days on market, this really goes to show that at the peak of the year, you know, January is always the time where our average days on market are going to be the highest. Uh, we've reached that at 78. And for the price points in Boulder County, I would say that 78 is going to dramatically decrease throughout the course of 2020. And definitely around that April, May timeframe, it's just going to continue to get more competitive. This really shows us just how many buyers are active in the marketplace. Um, if you have any other questions, always happy to help. I'm Anthony with Land Title and reach out to me and I'm happy to be here for you. Thank you. See you next time.